Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Encina. One of the questions I get asked time and time again from brand new clients is, Claudio, what do I need to do to write half a million dollars or write a million dollars in gross commission? Well, the question is not what you have to do. The real question comes down to who do you need to become? So I'm gonna share with you who you need to become in 2014 that will help you reach the destination that you're after. Firstly, what you wanna do is write down the things that are gonna feel like you're in rhythm every day. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I do at the moment, or a couple of my agents do, to feel like they're in rhythm. So I wake up at 4.15 every morning. You're probably going, Claudia, that's insane. But you know what? I love getting up early. I love seeing the sunrise. You're gonna see a little video montage right at the end of this video clip of what my day looks like for about one minute. The other thing is I like to start the day with exercise. You know, nothing feels better than getting the blood pumping through the veins and getting your day started on a good note. I say you need to have a book end to your day, the way you start and the way you finish. The other thing is dinner date. You know what, I see so many people lose that intimacy in their relationships. Why? Because people don't make an effort anymore. I tell you what, as an agent, you're probably so busy anyway, that make the time to take your wife or your partner on a dinner date, it is so, so important. But if you don't write it down, it's never gonna happen. The other thing I put down is 15 minutes of reading self-development books. I gotta tell you, that has played a major part in my life for the last 12, 13 years. You don't wanna be listening to the news and all the terrible things that are happening around the world. You just gotta feel in here some really good stuff. An agent that I work with, she wants to do 30 calls a day. When she does 30 calls, she feels like she's in rhythm five thank you cards, 150 letterbox drops. She wants to do maybe, for example, two market appraisals every week. She needs to do her farm area market monitor, practice listing presentation, idea, and a gratitude book. That is one thing that I do and finish my day off. That's the book end to the end of the day, is actually writing down a few ideas around my business or some of the things that are coming to my mind that I'm grateful for as well. So I've got here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So. When I've done it each day, for example, if it's Monday, I woke up at 4.15, it feels good. How good when you have a to-do list and you cross that thing out? It feels like your day is complete. That's what you wanna do. When I've gone to the gym on a Monday, wow, it feels really great. Dinner date, normally it's like on a Friday night we go out for dinner, I make a tick, that's beautiful. You know, self-reading every day, once it all goes every day, it gets done. The calls, the thank you cards, once you do it, you want a ticket but you cannot change without a state of awareness. So if you wanna make changes in your life, you need to write it down, get yourself an Excel sheet, have it ready, feel like you're in rhythm and your life will take off in 2014 and make the changes to get you to where you wanna to get to. Remember, stay focused, stay in action and stay in control. How your day starts can set the tone for the rest of the day. Have bookends to your day. Gratitude. Write down the things you're grateful for. Waking up to that beautiful sunrise. Bring it into your life. Your life is about being in rhythm and aligned each day. From the moment you wake up to the moment you put your head on the pillow to sleep at night. Reward your soul. One of my mentors taught me. Have a 10, a 25 or a 50. The great Dr. Fred. My soul every morning is having a cup of coffee. Are you tapping into your full ability, potential, and God-given talents? I try not to listen to the news. The only news I'm keen in hearing is the news at home and about my family. Life is a game. Are you playing at its fullest, at home and at work? Always be conscious of your self-talk. Remember, I am will follow you.